we have formatted the column and row and the intersecting value. Our goal is to change the input and have our formatting instantly update. <music> to accomplish this, we highlight the range where we want the formatting to occur. In the Home Ribbon tab over in Styles group, there's conditional formatting. Now, although there are lots of wonderful built-in conditional formatting, there's no built-in formatting to highlight a row or column. So we go down to New Rule. In the New Formatting Rule dialog box, we go down to Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. Then we click in Format Values where this formula is true. That means we have to build a logical true-false formula in this dialog box. And then the feature conditional formatting behind the scenes will copy the formula into each cell where that formula can give a true, please apply the formatting, or a false, do not apply the formatting. So the first thing we're going to do is try to highlight the row. Now when I highlighted this range here, I made sure to select the upper left-hand cell. Because the formula that this feature copies into all the cells behind the scenes is going to start right there. Now I need this whole row to look at quad, this whole row to look at Carlota. So I start my formula by selecting the quad. It says dollar sign $C, dollar sign $5. We hit the F4 key once and twice. As we copy this formula to the side, I need it locked on the C column. So it's locked on quad. But when that formula copies down from row 5 to 6, I want that 5 to move to 6. So no dollar sign. Now I ask the question, are you equal to whatever I put there? That's locked in all directions. I come down to Formatting, Fill, Yellow, click OK, click OK. And because the formula is looking at Carlota at the head of the row, it sees it down here. We get trues everywhere from our formula, and the yellow formatting is applied. If I change it to quad, instantly the formatting changes. Now we re-highlight the range, conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula, format values, where this formula is true. And now we ask the question of the column header. Now in this case, I hit the F4 key once to lock the 4 which is the row reference, but not the column reference D. That way, when the formula is copied to the side, D will move to E and see February. But when it copies down, the dollar sign in front of the 4 will lock that cell reference. Now I say, are you equal to whatever I put there? Format, orange, click OK, click OK. Test, looking good. Now I highlight the entire range. And guess what? That intersecting cell right there needs both logical tests to be true, up to conditional formatting. Let's go to Manage Rules. Here we can see our list of formatting. We can click New Rule. Because we need both tests to come out true, I type equals and. Now I repeat those two tests. For the row header, product, I say F4, F4. Are you equal to whatever I put there, comma? Now I click on the column header, F4 to lock just the row. Are you equal to June? Format. I'm going to do fill red, font white. You can do anything you want from all these tabs. Click OK, click OK. There's the three rules. If you do them in the wrong order, which I do oftentimes, you can simply move them up and down. I want the red to be on top. So I leave it on the top, click OK. I change quad to Carlota, June to April. And there you go, three logical formulas using conditional formatting to highlight the row, column, and intersecting value. Thank you.